They all be dancing, but the big girl don't be wanna dance. <laughs> I don't feel like exercising. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm up. so sleepy. But I gotta do it. I got to do it. What's your dad say? Mommy, you help me put this on? Okay. I got this um in the mail. I don't remember who sent me this and maybe it didn't work for them, but they sent it to me, so we're gonna try this. Girl, what is that? I don't know. I got a look it, in you. I think it's some kind of look at that. Let's see what that is. Child, what is this? <laughs> I don't know, girl. girl. I'm just gonna see. It's some foreign thing. You don't see. I think it go like this. <laughs> so yeah, put it on my fat stomach like that. Honey, is it wide enough? <laughs> okay. I don't think. Okay, look. You gonna hold this side. We gonna get mom. We gonna get this stomach on fleet. We gonna slay this stomach. Okay, girl. Hold it. <clears throat> hold it. Wait a minute. You looking for some miracles happening? Now? <laughs> okay. They send me this stuff. I'm going to try it. What you say? It's fleet. On fleek, yeah. I'm telling you, they send me stuff. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna see. Okay, this go my neighbor. You gotta put it on my neighbor like that. Wait a minute, you need one. Girl, I got my glasses on. Let me see. Yeah. You got it? Right there. Okay. Okay. Now what? Okay, now lay that side down. Okay. And I'm gonna pull this side tight. Do I have to pull it tight? You, I don't know. You can't, can you pull your side tight? No, I don't pull the skin. It's already stretched up. <laughs> you got stretch marks, man. Even stretch it. Okay. <laughs> don't be laughing. What you laughing at? Okay. Okay. We're going to see what that do. Okay. Where the belt thing that we wear? The belt. Give me the belt thing. Put this on. Put this on you too? Okay. You're going to put this in there? Yeah. Girl. We're going to cuz. I got to work out, honey. I got to get this stomach together. Okay. Uh-uh. You do this. You know how we do it. You do this side. What this? And you pull it back here. How strong as must that be to pull this? <laughs> yep, now take it on back. Take it on back. Take, take it on back. back. Take it on back. Wait yep. a minute, it's bent. Okay. Let's do it up. You get it? Okay, what about this? Okay. Okay, you can let it go. Let that go. Okay, now pull this side. Pull this side. Girl, you just hold on to something. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now put that passing out. Okay, you don't want me to pass out. Okay, be yeah, too tight. Okay, all right. Okay, put it on my underwear. Okay, all right. Now we gonna see. Oh, I got one more thing. I got one more thing. Can you see the name on this? Now you know with with my glasses on, I can't read that. That's Amy or Sarah or something. I don't know. Okay, well it's gonna be Sarah. Um, I'm sorry I can't pronounce them. It looks like Amy, but it's kind of folded up around the name. And what is this? <laughs> An eye pack? Uh, I, it, I don't know what this is. What is this? I have no idea, darling. How do you open it? Okay. See, it's an eye patch. This would not be an eye patch. What? Oh, it's a shoe thing. I don't. What in the world? It's it didn't come with no instruction. It's gonna go on. Lord, please don't let this. You got magnetic little things in it. Though. I would think it don't tell me how it go. Okay, so I must uh -huh, put this side down. This left. That's left. How you know? Cause that's how your left foot look. Uh uh, but it can't go that way. Well, that even if no it's sense. upside down, it's gonna be left. All right. right, left, right. Okay, all right. So, all right, I got them. I'm gonna try these today, and we're gonna see how it works out. I got my little stomach thing on. I got my shoe thing. I guess maybe these help with your arch or something, or they help with you walking. I don't know, but we'll find out. And thank you very much. And we're gonna skip to the next part. Thanks, bye. -bye. Mom. All right. Bye. -bye. Oh, I got a guest star today. I ain't walking by myself today, honey. 
I got my little my little sister Kate girlfriend right here walking with me. She said she gonna outwalk me, probably so, cause she ain't 40 plus nothing. So she one of them young sprout 20s. So she probably take this hill with no problem. Um, I didn't say it was no problem. <laughs> that's not what I said. Shoot. But that's how y'all young folks act. Y'all young folks act like, oh, here we go. Y'all act like young, like old folks can't you do nothing. You that we brought this here to work. Oh, shoot. I'm already feeling it. You know, I got that patch on and that thing's on my feet. I supposed to be able to get up here. But what I would want to tell you, but I was reading this book about um the characteristics of power and influence. And it was talking about how people are attracted to physique. You know what I'm talking about? Like... Like, for example, you know how smart people, they don't really get focused on their physique. Because they're smart. Because they're smart, right. You know, but in this book, it was saying how not mastering your physical influence is a lack of self-discipline, you know. So, that's why, you know, I push myself to get out here and walk anyway. In spite of the fact that this is the off week. That gate bro. That gate bro. Yup. So, phew, I'm gonna lean on you. I'm just playing. <laughs> so, how you doing over there? How does heel feel? It's hurting. You know, I can feel when I have to walk more. Okay. It's a little better than I did yesterday. I mean, I don't know if it's the insoles or the patch, but the other day when I was coming up this hill, yeah, boy, I was, I was bad, man. I was like, in my head, I was self-defeated, <laughs> but yeah, so the, um, the program says that people who don't master their physical powers their physical influence they lack self-discipline and most smart people or intellectually influential people feel like all i gotta do is just be smart you know but it's six characteristics of powerful influential people and Intelligence or intellect is just one of them. Physique is another one. Sociability, emotionability. Um, did I say personability? Did I say that? I don't know. And moral um, resolve. So, in this take your body back online fitness community, we do our meal plan for three weeks. We exercise for an hour every day for three weeks. And then for one week, you could cheat. You could eat, you know, a couple of foods that you've been craving in moderation. And don't you want to hold it? No. I know you do. Yes, you do. I don't. You don't want to hold it? No, I don't. Come on now. You're going to get an extra, extra push. Oh, you see that side view? See, y'all don't, y'all ain't never seen that side view. I usually have it up so it looks like I'm thin. <laughs> I don't like that side view. We're going to put it back over here. So, <laughs> just to help me to combat or to master my physical power influence, I have decided that even though this is our cheat week and our off week, I'm still going to continue with my meal plan. I'm still going to continue with my exercise regimen just so that I can get in the habit and make exercise, right? A habit. Because we make room for everything else. Not a habit, a lifestyle. A lifestyle, a lifestyle. You're right, you're right, you're right, a lifestyle. We make we make time for everything else, right? So, you make time to go to work, 
You make a time to go to church. You make a time to go to the club where you just got to do it. You're going to do happy hour or whatever it is you're going to do, right? So I decided to make exercise a part of my lifestyle. That means I don't have no off week. There is no off. You know, there ain't no off days, no days off. This is what I do Monday through Saturday, you know, Sunday. Take a rest, go to church, meditate. And um, uh, also, if you check out my last video, I had lost seven pounds. And it was kind of, it was a good, it was a bittersweet moment because some people in my, some women in my group have lost 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Some, one lady even lost 20 pounds. You know, we're a, we're a community of like, you know, they're, they're over 40. And there's more than 50 of us in this group. And, but I was so happy about my seven pounds. I could not believe because the scale was going up and up and up. Yeah. Every time I looked at the scale, the number was getting bigger and bigger. And to actually stop it from increasing and see seven pounds gone, I was like, okay, I'm sticking with this. We're going to go down this way. Down what way? Down this way. Well, Did we go? And then we go, we go all the way around. Then we go what? hit the treadmill. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm doing this thing. So, so what was I say? So, so I'm committed. Just take the whole walk because that hill is so good for interval that when you get on this treadmill, it's going you gonna fly on it. You are gonna be able to do your job, your hit intervals and stuff like that. So, I just you set me up for the okie doke. You still love me. <laughs> you said what I say. You gonna walk up there and then go get on the treadmill. <laughs> you ain't say. You see how I did gonna that? Walk up there, come down here, come down here, turn, go back down there. And then go <laughs> That's not what you said. She's here with me on spring break. You know, this is my college scholar. She's gonna be the next uh, Nobel Prize, a Pulitzer Prize winner. You know, that's what she's gonna do, and. um She's gonna get all those awards. You know, she's, I'm gonna live my life through her vicariously. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be 40 and fine. And, and she's gonna be the one going all over. Look, it's time for me to eat. Okay, I'm late. But like I said, I lost my seven pounds. I'm going, I'm committing to what you say, a lifestyle. Okay, a lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle change where exercise is going is part of my daily routine now it is no days off no just on sunday and i'm going to keep working out because you know that's me mastering my power my physical power of influence and um looking forward to more weight loss and that's about okay, so it we're coming up this one right here yep we're gonna keep walking straight i'm talking to this next one no we're gonna go down to the intersection where the school at and then we're gonna walk back down that hill what's up See, I told you they be, they be encouraging. You know, you gotta you gotta do this. You gotta do this. You got to get in this group. Do something for yourself. That's this positive. It's gonna be life changing. I try my clothes fit so much better. And a reward to myself is when I get under 200 pounds, I'm going to buy me another pair of jeans. What's up? Cause you know all the other ones, I done stretched them all out of shape. So that's what's coming. Um. Have you ever noticed I'm breathing a little better? I can actually talk a little bit. <laughs> so, shoot, we gonna go ahead and knock this on out. And I will see you next time. Hey, you wanna tell everybody bye? <laughs> uh. Okay. I wish that I would've worn one thing at a time. Like I got, or you saw the big put the little thing on. And you saw me do the insoles. Well, I'm gonna be able to see. Honey, first of all, before I started today, I took a tea, I drank a tea called Positive Energy. I don't know if it had a placebo effect or whatever, but I went from, I don't feel like working out to, boom, let me get this going. <laughs> I put on these insoles. I don't know if they working, but when I tell you, my legs like, girl, you better be on it. I feel like doing this. I don't want to fight myself out. And I got this patch on my stomach right here, and I feel like, girl, you need to be. <laughs> so I don't know between the caffeine tea, the insoles, and the patch. I got to say, 
thank you again because sister girl feel like doing some heat training right now. I feel like running for two minutes and walking for a minute. I'm, oh my goodness. I'm with it. I just want to tell you a little secret. I need y'all to pray for me. And let me start me ask y'all to pray for me. I have a cousin demon. Let me tell you something. I'm in the church, and sister girl can't curse. I used to didn't curse. I stopped, became a recluse. But when I got with my boo thing, my boo thing, he can rattle off all the cuss words in one sentence. And uh, I done picked up his little nasty habit, and sister girl back cursing. So every now and then, I might bop, drop an F-bomb, boom. I might drop an MF right here and me. So I need to not only discipline myself in this exercise, but I need to be more conscious of the words coming out of my mouth. So as you can see, this is a lifestyle thing, like for real. You know, this is about me being better, a better person, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Because for this stage of my life, I want to truly be the best me. You know, not the better, but the best, absolute, optimal, pinnacle, pivotal me. And I just don't think that I was doing that because before now, I was more immature. I was more about me. But now, I know that in order for me to have an impact on others, I got to first self-reflect on making myself better. So that all those six levels or powers of influence, I can actually implement. You feel me? Look at me. Girl, yeah. I feel like a new woman. Oh, that's it. Oh, shoot. I'm going to do this thing. Oh, yeah. Keep on sending those resources. Because I'm going in. Okay. We're going to do this weight loss thing because I'm going to be me 2.0. Yeah, 2.0 me. Um, if y'all don't know, you can call me Thea. That's what everybody else calls me. That's usually what my family calls me. And if you're watching these videos, then you have become a part of my family. So I would like for you to call me Thea too, okay? But Thea 2.0 is coming at you. So for this summer... Get ready, she's coming, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep on using these resources, teas, supplements, whatever it is. I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm gonna start increasing that to a gallon and a half, maybe even two, because I'm gonna get rid of these impurities. I'm gonna clear my mind. Oh yes, we are doing all that, look. I'm ready to run, we still on the wall. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, oh, know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? The truth gonna be when I hit them jumping jacks. Cause if y'all ever try to do them jumping jacks, I don't know if you physically fit. But them jumping jacks, and when I was in middle school, they weren't nothing. I'd be hoo, hoo, hoo. But now, I'm going to lie. <laughs> Till next time. I'll see you again. Look out for my next video. Love you. Peace.